Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. We are out here at the cargo trailer continuing our video series on the upgrades and improvements to the trailer. In the last video, I believe we were still working on the insulation. We have completed the insulation where we're gonna go with it. We did the roof and everything. We got the air conditioner installed. I don't think we showed you that. We'll show you that and where we vented it and everything. Uh, we got the, vent, the bench permanently mounted. Uh, you also might've seen in the first video where we did the polycuramine floor. Or was that the second video? First video was the introduction to the trailer, but we did the polycuramine floor in here. It's been a great floor so far uh, and got this other stuff done. So we're gonna take you guys inside, show you the finished part where we have it all insulated, the air conditioner hooked up, um, and the generator plug that's been working out pretty good for us too, the bench. And then today we're also going to start the lights. We're gonna make uh, LED lights run through the whole thing so we get good lights. The only light it has right now is the one light that only turns on when it's plugged into the truck. But we're not always plugged into the truck and we'd like to have some lights in here so we can use it uh, as a little workspace from time to time. Uh, we do have a couple uh, deep cycle batteries under the bench that we're gonna use to hook into. And then in a future video, we'll probably hook up the solar, which will keep our batteries maintained. We already have the charge controller on the wall and everything, but that's what we're gonna use to get that going. So with that being said, let's get you guys inside and show you what it looks like now. Step into the, here, our trailer. As you can see, see if I can get zoomed out a little bit. As you can see, we got our bench up. We're already using it for stuff. Had a couple projects done on there already. It is permanently mounted to the studs that run up and down the wall. We've mounted those with the wood to metal screws. Um, there's our deep cycle batteries we're gonna use for the lights we were talking about. Here is our air conditioner. This is one of the portable air conditioners. And we have it just going up the wall and coming out of the roof vent. Uh, we also put the, the vent things on top of the roof so you can leave them open you know, while you're driving or any weather. So a vent's right up out of there, that works really good and keeps this front part cool. So you can see all the insulation in the ceiling. The walls have all been insulated all the way back. You can see it up into there. It is all done and insulated. And then we just have a packing blanket blocking off that back half. Well, it's like eight foot section back there. We're using it as like the garage, so to speak, has the generator and stuff back there. We're not going to uh, insulate that probably right away, but it uh, it is done to this part and it works great for us. Uh, you can see the floor is doing great. And we do have some stuff we're storing in here right now, plus some other people got some other things stored in here. Uh, we have this couch out of our RV, but it works good in here. But that's it, guys. Uh, it's looking pretty good. For right now, it's it's storing stuff, but it, we have other plans for it in the future. But uh, we're today, we're going to start with the lights. But this is that light I was talking about that only has one light. It only comes on when it's plugged in. So it's a pretty crappy setup. It needs some more lights. So if you guys can see the ceiling here, we were gonna go around the outside, but we're gonna do two, one whole strip that way and one whole strip down that way. So it's centered. So the light will shine evenly from both of them. And then I wanna get you guys dizzy. And then probably across this bar here, we're gonna put one so it's right over our bench. Gives us a little more light there. And of course we'll put a switch on the wall. We got a nice cool switch for there. And then you can see we already have our charge controller on the wall um, that we're going to use when we forget the there's a flat solar panel we're putting on the roof. It'll come into here and then this will charge the batteries, keep our batteries up the snuff when we're not in it. Uh, but so far, so good. So let's get this stuff on the bench of what we're using for the light project and show you what we got. All right, guys, we have laid out on the bench basically what we're going to need to do this job. Uh, the first thing are for the lights for the inside. We'll show you those. This is going to be the LED light strips, but the, the dual ones. Pretty noisy, I guess, for you guys. You can see the dual bands right here. So if you guys can see that. It's got the dual strips of LED lights, uh, and they're in the waterproof container or uh, housing, which would, I mean, you don't really need it in here, but why not, just in case, just moisture and everything. So these are going to run along the whole width of the roof this way from front to back to give us light and also in the front over the bench. So we got a couple of rolls of that right now. We're going to need a couple more because these are only 16 feet long. The trailer's 24 plus. So we're going to need those. Uh, these are the lights because we're also putting lights outside for loading. These are the lights we're going to put outside of the back door shining down. So when you're loading, 
these will shine down out there. Those are nice LED lights there. And then I can't find the other ones right now, but I have ones that are like half that size that are gonna go on the side door here, just in case you load something through the side door. So that'll be nice. Any place where we need a connection, we're gonna use these waterproof connections, or the weather tight connections. You can see the they plug in, they got the rubber boot. So we can just plug them in, they snap thing and they're waterproof. So we'll use those to keep it nice and secure. So those will be used. We're also gonna run it through a fuse block here. And this one is the kind that if the fuse blows, the light will light up and let you know that it blew. So you know which one to look for. So we're gonna run everything through that. And then uh, it comes with the label so you can label what they are. This is the switch we're gonna use on the wall. Right here you can see it's a nice waterproof switch. You can see the inside there, the back. But on this one here, what's nice is it has that rubber gasket. It's pretty much waterproof. And you can turn your lights on and off. It has these weather tight connectors here too, which you'll see the wire we got fits in there perfectly. So we're gonna have one for the inside lights, one for them outside lights, so for loading, loading lights and inside lights. So that'll be pretty nice. And then you can see the wire we have here, it's in a sheathing. Uh, it's got a red and black wire in there. So that matches the gauge we need. It'll give us more than enough current for these lights that we're running. Uh, and then we have the VHB tape, in case we have to put it on the back of the lights when we're hanging it to the ceiling. And this tool we might need, um, this is gonna go on one of our impact drills here. You guys can see that. You guys are looking for, it. there's the model number. This, we got a sheet metal we're gonna cut into like one inch strips. And that's what we're gonna rivet to the roof. And that'll be a nice, a nice surface for our lights to go to. And also, see on the back here, there's no sticky. So that VHB tape will stick nice to this and to the uh, metal on the roof. So we might need this. That's how we're gonna mount all, that's how we're gonna do these. And uh, this is pretty much what we're gonna need for that job. Um, I think the first thing we're gonna start with is probably getting power over to the switch um, because we can mount this on the wall, get power over to the, running it from the battery from you know this using this at the battery running from the battery up to probably this from this over into that switch and then from out of the switch we'll go to our sets of lights that we need to wire up then we'll probably start cutting the metal get them strips done so we can mount them to the ceiling just using a pop rivet aluminum pop rivets and then this will have a nice surface to mount to plus it works as a heat sink a little bit it'd be great so that's what we're gonna use for this project. So with that being said, guys, let's get over here, get this stuff started to be hung and hooked up. All right, guys, the first thing we got mounted was our fuse block. We mounted it right up here. We centered it above this one. So we'll have the wires that will come up the wall here. And the, you know, the negative will come here, the positive will go here. We'll use the, oh, we'll use the ring terminals for here on both ends. That'll supply power to this from the battery. Then from this, we're gonna go from this It'll go up and over some way nice, maybe across here, over into the switch, which we're gonna mount next over here. We'll probably mount it right below this light. And that way we'll have the power ran to the switch. Then once we get our lights ran, we can just run the lights into here and then we'll have power to all of that. So let's get this moved and we'll put a mount the switch right about there. Okay guys, we have this switch mounted right here. So you can see it mounts are really nice. This is gonna be the inside lights. This will be the outside lights. So we got that. Uh, next, we will run the wires from the battery down there. It'll go up the wall along the bench, back up along there to the fuse block. From the fuse block across here and into our switch. And then the lights will come in. You know how that all works. But thing we're gonna do uh, is get the battery or the wire hooked up to the battery and put it in the wire loom. So we gotta put some ring terminals on here uh, this is the 14-2 uh, wire, so we're going to use that. We just have these uh, this ring terminal kit. We'll probably go with uh, these ones. Yeah, these look like they'll fit over the battery. You guys can see that. Let's see, you guys see that? These will fit over there. And these, uh, what's cool about these, this is heat shrink also, so that'll help seal that end up. And if you wanted to go a step further, you can also put a uh, heat shrink on top of that, which this has got the glue adhesive in it. It's like the marine type. So I might put one of those on there too, just to hold it better. And then we have the crimping tool, which will crimp those on. So 
we're going to get these stripped down and then we will put uh put these ends on there with some uh, heat shrink all right we have our stripper tool here strip off the amount we need that's probably more than we need Yeah, these are probably a little more than we need, but we'll trim those down. This one's probably good. Trim this one down a little. These cutters have a, you can adjust this for the strip, for how far to strip it, but I didn't do that. There we go, got this cut down. This will fit the terminal on there nicely. It's up in there good. Spin it so it fits up in there. You can see you got it because it'll come right up through. So if you guys can see that comes right up through, you know it's good. You got a good connection there. So now we're going to crimp that. Actually, I think I might want to put heat shrink. So let's put another piece of heat shrink on there. Like I said, better do it right the first time, right? Uh, this one might fit over it after it's shrunk. Well, we'll find out. There we go. These are color matched blue, red, blue, yellow. Um, sometimes I like to squeeze them more, so I might go to the red on the blue because I just don't feel it, it pinches enough. And it only lets you go so far because they ratchet on. Test your connection, that's good. We're going to get our torch out, shrink this down, and hopefully this will fit over it. Find our little torch here. This is the power probe little micro torch thing works awesome i mean you can use a heat gun for this um they probably recommend that more so than this but uh i'm going with this one for speed sake there we go we'll let that one cool while we get the other one on there Find some heat shrink for that one. This one looks bigger. That looks smaller. We'll just put this one on there. I can't find a black one the same size as that red one. Okay. Our other terminal. There it is. That's a little too long. Let's trim this down. There we go. There we go, I can see my wire in there. This will make a good crimp. There we go, test that, that's good. I'm gonna shrink that one down, just like the other one. And that's all we need to do at this end. Then we'll hook it to our battery and then run it to where we gotta take it. But we're gonna put it in we're gonna put it in loom just so it's even more protected. We have the, you guys can see it, that wire loom that we're just gonna put it in and we'll attach it to the wall, but that's looking pretty good. So let's get these shrunk on here. Look at that, that fits perfectly on there. So we'll shrink those down, then we'll get this connected to the battery. So we're gonna do that to this side, then we'll do the, the other side and get it hooked up. Well, at least ran. We can't really hook it up yet, but. And what's cool about this heat shrink, it has the adhesive line, so it seals both ends. 
I use it a lot on the boat when I'm doing wiring jobs on there. But we'll continue on with this and then uh, we'll run the wire and see what goes on with the other end as we hook it into the fuse block. So, All right guys, we're here under the bench. We have our wires, we have the stainless steel clips we're going to use to hold our wire. And we'll put this on here and I'll hold it to the wall. I don't know if you can see if you can get you guys up here. We're going to run it up the wall here from the battery and then along the bottom of the bench. Then it'll come up out of the bench on the side up to the fuse block that we got up there. So that's how we're going to do it. Let's get this ran. All right, guys, we ran that all the way underneath. I'll show you that here in a second, but we're at the fuse block. We got the positive. We got the ring terminals put on, positive hooked up. We're hooking up with negative right now. Let's go on there. You got your flat washer, your lock washer. And we'll put the nut on there. That's pretty much it. And then you can see on the cap, you got this spot for the top where the wire is going to come out. And its whole bottom's open, so that black one can go anywhere you want it to down here. So if you want it to run to the side a little bit like that or something, you could, which I might do. And we'll tighten that down and hook it up at the battery, and then our fuse panel has power. We don't have the fuses in yet, but we don't want them in there yet because we still got to hook up our lights to all these spots here. So let's get that hooked up. Put this on. There we go. I'll probably neaten this up a little bit, put some more of that black stuff on here just so it looks good. But right there, fuse panel's done. Look down below here, you can see where we did the you can see up here, we put it, we ran it along here. We didn't put it in the sheathing here because it's protected under the bench. We did it along there. So if anything hits it, it's kind of got a little protection. And then coming up the wall, we have it there too. In case anything hits it off the bench, it's got a little protection there also. So that's good. Now we're getting ready. We're going to uh, clean our spots and get ready to start putting our lights up. And then we'll wire those over here into our fuse block. We're set and ready to go get some light. So let's do that. All right, guys, now we're going to run from our fuse block over to the switch. Actually, I'm going to do it backwards. I'm going to run from the switch over to the fuse, the fuse block. So this wire here perfectly fits up in this switch, right like that. So when you tighten this down, it makes a nice weather tight seal. So we're going to pull out the wire we need, tighten this down for now so it don't go anywhere, because this is going to go up into the bottom part of the switch. And then when the lights come in, they're going to go in the other part of the switch. But we're going to run this, pull some of this out. We're going to run it up the wall here like this. And then just follow like along the crease here until we get over to our fuse block. So it'll be something like this. So I'll probably cut the wire right there. And we'll get that hooked in. That way our switch will have power to it. There we are. We got our length. We're going to run that and put that up the same way we did the one under the bench. That way it'll look nice and neat with that sheathing on it and help put up there with them stainless clamps. So let me get that done and we'll go on to the next step. All right, guys, we have the power ran to the switch from the fuse block. It's ran across into our switch. Out of our switch, we have the one wire running. It just hanging here. Yeah, you guys can see the end. We have it there. That's ready for when the lights get put up here. It's just enough length to get to, you can see that, that mark right there. That's where the, it's gonna meet up. And that's gonna use those plugs we showed you in the beginning, the weather tech connectors, just in case we ever have to change anything out, like the light strip or anything, they'll have plugs instead of being soldered together. So that'll be nice. But uh, that's all we're doing for today. It's getting kind of late, but uh, we'll try to get an earlier start tomorrow and finish up these lights in here on that switch. It looks awesome. So see you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, here we are back out here at the trailer, getting ready to finish up this light job. Uh, as you've seen a little bit earlier, well, for you, it's like no, no, no time, but yesterday we left off doing the wiring, getting the wires all hooked up to the battery and ran over to here. So now all we got to do is hang our lights and then hook the wire up. We're going to use those, those plugs we were talking about, these two here, the wire, weather, tech, weather tight connectors. We'll put the one end on the lights and one end on the other end of the power. That way, if we ever need to change out the lights or anything, we can just unplug it, plug in a new one. It'll be simpler that way. Um, we also, to join those, we're going to be using the solder seal wire connectors. I mean, they're okay, but for as small as those wires are on the lights, this is the way I choose them to go with it. Uh, you just put your wire in there, 
I'm sure you guys have seen these. If you can see that. You would just put your wire in there and then heat this up. And then the solder in here will melt and seal your wires. Plus it's got the heat shrink all the way around it. So that'll help seal it. And we have the marine heat shrink we're going to put around it also to keep all that together. So that's the first thing we're going to do today. We're going to get the plug and put on the lights and put on the wire. And then we'll start hanging out here on the ceiling. Show you how we're going to try to do it um, and see how that works. But uh, let's go over here and I'll show you what we're going to do. All right, guys, here we are at the bench. You can see we have one of these on here already. The two wires we just put together and then twisted a little. And we put this on here. We're going to heat that up till the solder melts and joins the wires. And at the same time, this heat shrink will kind of hold the wires together also. Then we're going to do the same thing on this one. So let's get this lifted up, get our torch lit. Um, you can use a heat gun. I use this. It's a little faster. But be careful if you use a torch, you could blow right through the sheathing. So don't make it too hot. Uh, would have helped if I brought my helping hands over, but I did not. So let's get this melted. We'll just start by getting the green ones melted on there a little bit. Spin it around. You'll see that solder flow once it starts flowing through the wires. See right there, it started to flow already. That's all we're doing. Solder flew through the, or flowed through the wires. You can see it all right there. So that one's done. We're gonna, once that cools, we'll slide this heat shrink tube up, seal that part up so we know we're good and ready with that one. Then we'll go on and do the negative one the same way we just did that one. We'll join the two wires, put on our uh, solder connection there, and do the same thing. So well, let's continue on. All right, guys, we got this one. The first one we did, we got the heat shrink on there. This one's cool now. We did that the same way. So if you guys can see that. I don't know if you guys can see where it flew in or it flowed. So now we're just going to slide this over, heat shrink that. And once you heat shrink them, the, there's the, like a seal, like a, the oil or the, the glue will come out and seal them ends right off. So they're totally waterproof. So that's what we're going to do. We got this centered on there, almost centered. And we're just going to get some heat on it. Yeah, you can see it actually is perfectly what we want. Get all sides of it. There you have it, guys. That is done. Now we're going to do the same thing we just did here on the lights. This here is the power wire. We do have the fuse pulled out, so there's no power here, but... Power wires are done. We're going to do the same thing over here on the lights. You can see the only problem with these LED lights that are dealing with is these wires on these lights are tiny. So we're going to do the same thing on these, these wires. Hook the other end of this plug up to it. We're going to hook those in. And then we'll be able to just plug our lights in when we go. So that's what we're doing right now. So let's uh, get over here and start soldering this. All right, guys. We have, we have the other end on here. You can see we have the two ends. That are going to plug in um, since we are doing two strips of lights down this rv we joined our two light strips with one connecting piece of wire so they all join into the same thing so that is set and ready to go now we're going to take these light strips and start hanging them from the ceiling uh where we want them we marked them up on the ceiling we'll show you the marks when we're up there we're going to clean the spot with alcohol first and then we're going to use the vhb tape um i don't know if that's the one here it is the vhb the very high bond tape this stuff will uh, hold pretty good. And if for some reason it does happen to come down, I mean, it has some wipes with it, some uh, some of that primer stuff, but if not, we have, it has some, but if not, we have some coming uh, if they happen to fall, but we're gonna use this to hang it up there. So let's get up down the ceiling here and clean off our spots to put this up. All right, got you guys upside down. And you can see our mark here on the ceiling. How we came up with that is we measured the complete width of this inside here and we divided it by three because we're having two rows of lights. So you divide it by three and that'll give you an equal spot from each side. So we're gonna start on this one. You can see, I don't know sure if you guys can see down here, but further down this way, we have all of them marked all the way down. We're just gonna clean this spot with alcohol and then stick our, that's where we're gonna stick our first part of our light. Then here, this is where you're gonna wanna have a partner or helper so they can hold the lights up down here while you stick each, each one individually and get it stuck up all the way down through. So. 
With that being said, let's uh, get this cleaned off with alcohol and get our light prepped. All right, guys, here we are at the first part of our light. We've got some elk rubbing alcohol on a rag. We're just going to wipe this area, get it ready for, for the 3M tape. And then we're also going to take the same rag with the alcohol and wipe that part of the ceiling, which I showed you earlier. Okay, that part's nice and wiped off. Now we're going to get our 3M tape, small pieces of it here. Get our Milwaukee knife, love this thing. We're just going to cut some sections of it. There's one. Actually, one's probably all we need. It's about that wide, so we're going to stick that on here. And we're going to do that every 16 inches because that's what our, our trusses are on this thing. So that one's stuck down. Should stick pretty good. That VHB is pretty good, I have to say. So now we're going to peel this off, stick it to the ceiling, and then we'll go on to our next one, wipe it off, do the same thing all the way down every 16 inches until we get it where we want it. So I'm going to get a couple of these started, guys, and then I'll show you how we did it and how it ended up. So let me get those started. All right, guys, we have we have these mounted up here, but it, it was we had a crap of a time. We tried the adhesion promoter that has that we tried pvc all-purpose cement uh primer we tried that that didn't work so when you get these lights that are in the silicone nothing likes to stick to the silicone so what we ended up doing was taking silicone putting it up here sticking silicone to silicone and then we taped it until it dries so we're hoping that's going to hold for us that's what we got up there as you can see we got a couple of them done we're just going to continue along until we this strip is done then we'll go to the other side to that strip. That's all we're doing. So we're just going to continue with that, and then we'll see what it looks like. It'd be awesome. All right, guys. We have two of them ran down through. We're trying the silicone trick because nothing else seemed to make it stick up there. We didn't want to drill holes and put brackets or anything. So we're going to hope the silicone works for us. But you can see, looking down through, there's two strips that go almost all the way to the back. we got a few more feet in the back to go. So we'll need another row for that, our roll of lights for that. So these two are ran. And then up here at the bench... We still have the one we're going to put across here. We haven't done that one yet. And then this here, we're going to tuck up behind this foam. Other than that, we're getting ready to plug this in, hooking the power back over here at the fuse panel or the fuse block, and then we could test these lights out. So let's go over here and hook these up, this wire back up. Hold my arms over my head so long that my arms are shaky. Okay, that is hooked back up. You can see we already have it labeled, interior lights. So let's get our other cord put over here temporarily, just while we try this out. Oh, it's just fell down, but that's okay. Boom. We'll just hang this up here until we know which way to do it. So I kind of want to close the door, but we'll just look down that way. We'll flip the switch. Ready? Man, that puts good light in here. Good even, it's got good even light, like like even. We were gonna put it around the edge, but it would leave the center kind of dark. This kind of does it pretty good. Look at that. Isn't that pretty good? Mm -hmm. I mean, maybe we, should, maybe we should close the door just to get the full effect of it. Let me shut them off and we'll close the door real quick. All right, guys, I know you can't see me, but I'm, I closed the door. Let's turn these, uh, I know, uh, let's turn the lights on and see what we got. Look at that that is beautiful light don't you think so it's pretty good light running down through there. i think it reflects nicely off that silver insulation too in the roof so that gives us pretty good light down through here i'm not i'm pretty happy with it so pretty good pretty good job done uh the next job which we don't have time for today because we got a place to go but right here we're going to run one along the top here uh up here which is going to be for over the bench because the bench we didn't go all the way forward so the bench is a little dark but that light's going to look awesome there. That'll be on the same switch as this one. It's going to be the interior lights. And then on the outside, we're putting the outside lights, which we mentioned. That'll probably be another video. We're going to do the outside lights and uh, in the back and the front here. And they'll be on the second switch over here on our panel. You can see it lights up when, you're, uh, when it's on. But the second switch will be for the outside lights. But then I think uh, phase two of the lighting project will be the solar panel, which I uh, hope you guys stay tuned for that video. Uh, 
But yeah, um, I think for the next video, it would probably, it'll probably be that one will be in it, but it might be in this video. You never know. So let's keep going. All right. We are back out here today. We decided to throw in that other light up here and throw it in this video for you guys. You can see it's the one over the bench. It lights up the bench perfectly. It did turn out pretty nice. So let me, let me flip this switch and show you what this looks like up here. Look how much light we have on the bench. I mean, look down at the bench. It covers the whole bench, good lighting right there. The next part of this project is gonna be the outside lights. That'll probably be in the next video that you guys see. It'll be the outside lights that we're gonna put one off of the, the side door as a loading light, and then two off of the back, off the ramp as a loading light also. And that's gonna go on that other switch over there. Um, every, everything we used in this video, we'll put links to down below if it helps you guys out. They are probably affiliate links on some of the stuff, so it does help our channel directly. We appreciate that support, guys. I'll plus the thank you button. That's super thanks. Thanks to you guys. But we'll leave links to these all below if in case you want to use something we used in uh, one of your projects or something. Maybe you're doing the same thing or putting some lighting somewhere. But uh, with that being said, guys, we think, appreciate you guys watching this video. And until next time, try something new.